Hey guys, John W. Quinn here, the author of Someone Like Me. Time for another video blog. You know, recently I've been getting contacted by a lot of people from around the country who want to serve in the military and have cerebral palsy. They contact me and, and it pretty much goes the same. You know, they start out by saying, Dear Mr. Quinn, you know, I want to do what you did. Please give me some advice. I, I have mild, a mild case of cerebral palsy. You can, you can barely notice it. I play football. You know, I'm a wrestler. You know, what, what should I do? Please help me. Uh, you know, thank you very much. I've been getting about two or three of those a week for the last couple months. And I don't know why the sudden surge in this question. Maybe it's graduation season. And, and, and kids are looking to the future. But the answer that I give, and I wanted to do a video blog just on this, on this issue, the answer that I give is always the same. The advice that I give is to tell the truth. Nobody should ever have to keep a secret in order to live a life that they want for themselves. The, the problem is, is that these kids aren't even being allowed to try to take the physical to see if they can hit the standard for enlistment. And they should be allowed that opportunity. I have yet to have one person come back to me and go, you know, John, I made it in. You know, I, I have cerebral palsy and, and they waived it or they just said, hey, that's fine. You, you know, you're fit. You pass the physical. Congratulations. I have yet to hear that from one person. And my book has been published for five years now. And I, I've been contacted, oh, I'd say maybe by 100 people uh, during, during that time period. So, you know, it, it's frustrating for me to uh, say, tell the truth and not see anybody succeed. Can you serve successfully in the military with cerebral palsy? Uh, yeah, I did it. I did it very successfully. I'm a retired senior chief petty officer, which is the second highest enlisted rank you can hold. Everybody should have the opportunity to try. Now, let's make something very clear. I'm not asking for lowering of a standard to make it easier for anybody. What I'm asking for is simply this, give them the opportunity to take the physical. And if they can pass the physical, they should be allowed in. You know, I understand better than anyone what serving in the military with cerebral palsy is like. It's physically demanding, it's mentally, it's tough. And I know what it's like to stand the watch, to literally stand on your feet for four hours at a time, eight hours at a time, sometimes longer. Uh, I know what it's like to walk around the deck of an aircraft carrier going from meeting to meeting and, and be tired. But, you know, you choose that life, you, you've got to hit that standard. And there's kids out there that can do it. They can do it. If you're a military official and you're watching this, What's the deal? How many future leaders are you leaving out on the sidewalk? How many future chief petty officers, senior chief petty officers, master sergeants are you leaving out on the sidewalk? Just because you hear the words cerebral palsy. Let me clue you in on something there, military officials. Every case of cerebral palsy is unique to that individual. So every individual should be looked at on a case by case basis. Are, are all people with cerebral palsy going to be allowed into the military? Of course not. But what I don't want is blanket rejections just based upon your pre preconceived notions of what you have in your mind of what cerebral palsy is and what's possible for people that have a mild case of CP. I mean, that just sounds silly. So that's where we're at. And again, 
it's tough for me to to give honest advice. I could say, hey, don't tell the truth, keep it hidden, and good luck. Would a few get in? Possibly. But take it from a guy who hid his cerebral palsy for 20 years. You don't want to do that. Okay, mentally, it's harder to do than it was physically. And that's saying something. So, uh, I just wanted to speak to that issue. And if you're a Navy official or a military official and you want to talk to me about this, feel free. Keep, get in touch with me through my uh, website. My email is info, I-N-F-O, at johnwquinn.com. Again, I'm not asking for a lowering of a standard to bring everybody in. What I'm asking for is the opportunity to, for these kids to hit the standards just like anybody else. That's it. I'm John W. Quinn, retired senior chief, petty officer of the United States Navy. Check out my book. It's called Someone Like Me. All right, guys. Have a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.